hey viewers i am pallavi padalkar coming to you with a topic from engineering geology called as role of engineering geology in reservoirs dams and tunneling let us first deal with reservoirs reservoirs are very large artificial lakes so these are formed across a river and these are formed for construction of dams the main purpose of dam construction is to store water so when we take a general example of reservoir your glass from which you drink water is also a reservoir a bottle in which you store water is also a reservoir but when we speak the storage of water on a large scale it is called as a dam so the following points are to be paid attention to from geological point of view here geological point of view is very important because the dam is placed on a hard strata the hard strata should be strong enough to carry the total load of the structure coming on it keeping in mind the points such as water tightness and its influencing factor when we observe this figure a here it is a valley where at the bottom of that valley there is a river here i have marked the extent what well, what is this extent for this extent is for percolation of water before construction of dam but when we observe this figure a the extent has increased now why this extent has increased because dam construction has been done now you'll ask me a question that before construction of dam the extent was small and after construction of dam extent is large what about water tightness yes we need to pay attention to this water tightness only so if a situation like this arises what we have to do as an engineer okay so here let us read this first of all so due to the natural process of weathering the surface which is covered with loose soil and below which lies fractured rock is influenced by the flow of river okay so when the river flows over such surface amount of water percolates under the ground because of permeability property of soil and rocks yes from figure a we can observe that due to less covered area the river percolation of water before construction of dam is less from figure b after construction of dam impounding water is collected in large quantity in the reservoir but percolation quantity is more okay so these factors are influencing the water tightness of the reservoir and the dam so what are the factors that affect the water tightness so let us deal with geological factors affecting water tightness of the reservoir okay so the first factor is water tightness itself so on what things it deal it is based on so first of all site should be selected such that the reservoir basin is water tight means what the factors like the bedrock should be hard the bedrock should have no pores within it the bedrock should be generally made up of basalt or some other type of igneous rock and if it is made up of sedimentary rocks then which type of rock should be there like shales slates gneiss granite are generally suitable but the rocks like sandstone calcium stones which are called as pervious rocks are not suitable for a reservoir then the next thing that we need to pay attention is good hydrological conditions okay so hydrological conditions means what the area should have good precipitation the area should have permeable soil the area should have ek uh, uh, agricultural land near by okay the reservoir catchments should have suitable hydrological condition to give high yield as i told agricultural land should be nearby okay enough runoff for storage so therefore should be more surface enough as that water will be collected in the reservoir and mineral exploration evaporation 
transpiration and percolation losses also if percolation losses are not there then the water will not reach to the fields through the pores in the soil the next factor here is deep reservoir so deep reservoir in which we should pay attention is the point site should be such that a deep reservoir is formed during the construction of dam so that the depth of the reservoir is more and evaporation losses from the reservoir are less okay the second point here is it is advantageous as it minimizes evaporation as i told you has cheaper cost of land acquisition and less weed growth this is very important from water pollution point of view so the next point here is small submerged area now what do you mean by submergence here submergence means the land which is under water hmm. so the first point which we need to understand is minimum submerged area is suggested as it will not affect ecology so ecology is plant human water and aquatic life balance next factor is it will also not submerge the monuments of historical and architectural importance now what do you understand by this historical and architectural importance so we will go back to the harappa and mohenjo daro civilizations which used to exist there in the indus civilization so those the civilizations were submerged under water due to some reasons but those were submerged then recently we have seen some news from television that dwarka was submerged under water but archaeologists and geologists today they have found the <coughs> traces of the civilization during that period so that is an example for submergence of monument monuments of historical and architectural importance the next factor that affects is low silt inflow now what is silt first of all that we should understand now silt is one of the finest particles of sand uh, soil okay so it is there as river bed carries more transported or sediment load with itself fine particles they get transported very easily and hence the river has a lot of silt deposit with itself okay so what thing we should keep into mind for geological factors or for a reservoir that low silt inflow is desired as large quantity of sediments reduce the probable life of the reservoir so what happens here that when large quantities of silt they come and they get deposited at the bottom of the reservoir so first of all what happens the deep reservoir which is desired the depth of the reservoir it reduces as well as the bed load of the reservoir it increases on the bo bottom of the dam or on the foundation of the dam due to which the self weight it increases and there are chances of cracks being produced at the foundation level so low silt inflow is desired the second point it is advisable that water from the tribu tributaries not to be included as it carries high percentage of silt the next factor is no obstruction material okay so here mineral content in the site area should not contaminate the reservoir water making it unsuitable for the intended purpose as you know that the dam is either made up of earth that is earthen dam or it is made up of concrete so when it is made up of both the materials there are many reinforcing materials that are to be used in the construction of dam if let us say that the reservoir water is having a large quant uh, content of minerals these minerals when they make solution with water they may act chemically with the materials used in construction of dam so this can is considered as a no obstruction material okay and last but not the least factor is low cost of real estate the cost of land acquisition for the site should be low and also access the roads dams and dwellings thank you